and I was so good. You're so evil that you would beat up and kill a good man. And I was, I was actually God and I still am God and you didn't get it. That's how evil you were. And Jesus comes 2,000 years ago to say, I'm a good man and your theology beats me up and kills me. And so historic Christianity really has to be called into question for many reasons, but for this reason it certainly does. And for all the reasons that it killed, all those who actually asked these tough questions, they would simply censor them by taking their heads off. They called the taking of the heads off of people called heretics, they called that mercy. The ones who did not receive mercy, they didn't get their heads taken off. They would simply burn those people. So if you had a theological question, historical Christianity simply would take your head off or burn you at the stake. I, I don't applaud things like that. I don't applaud their theology. I don't applaud their methods. I don't applaud their practices. I don't applaud their mindset. Their philosophy is evil because good men have not stood up. Good women have not stood up and done something. It's going to take people standing up and saying, I'm going to be good today. I'm not waiting for another tomorrow. I'm not going to allow historical Christianity, which is basically historical Judaism, which is actually historical paganism. I'm not going to allow the sacrifices and all of these kinds of isms to continue. I want to be good and I want to stand up and proclaim what God has actually said because I have proof it's not just just a hypothetical story that really I don't want to be questioned about. This is why it makes me ill inside when I'm called a pastor. Please don't call me that. That's an insult. You can call me all kinds of names, but pastor is below the belt. Because pastors stand for people who teach things that are not logical, they're not rational, they're not good, they're not even moral, and they're certainly not sane. The reason that we have these canons has to do with pastors. I'm not insulting those people. They've insulted themselves. The theology of the Old Testament portrays a God completely unlike Jesus Christ, and it proved completely useless when it came to recognizing Him while He was on this earth. Jesus actually come to set us free from death? Or did he actually come to set us free from the theology of death? A lot of preachers today are standing behind the pulpit. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ came and he jerked us away from death in the grave. And now we stand victorious because of what Christ did 2,000 years ago. Can you say amen? I, I guess the question that I'm wrestling with is, did God ever lose control of those he created. Did Jesus come along 2,000 years ago because God lost us? See, that's, that's a question that needs to be answered within you because people in theology think that we were lost. We were away from God and God was rescuing us back out of the clutches of the evil one, that is the devil. And we were under the grips of the devil, and it, it's like a contest. Here I'm God, and I'm wrestling with my adversary, and I'm, I'm wrestling over an individual who I created, actually my son. What led me to believe that God 
lost control of his children. It, it might have been a book that looked similar to this one. It might have been a preacher that was preaching on the wages of sin is death. You know, those kinds of people, they had theologies, not just one theology, but multiple kinds of theology concerning death, multiple kinds of theologies concerning grave. So did Jesus come to conquer death in the grave, or did he come to conquer the theology of death in the grave? When God created man, and he said that it was good, and if he is almighty, and if he really is in control, if he actually holds everything together, is there a possibility that he created us to live forever and we messed that up? See, that's what we're taught. Did God create us to die physically? Some people would say, no, that was because of the curse. What do you mean the curse? Well, God placed a curse on humanity because one of his kids sinned. That sounds a little crazy, doesn't it? So which is it? Which one do you believe? Did God punish his kids with death? Happy Veterans Day, everyone. We salute you here at TBOG. Thanks for joining us here at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, remember, it used to be Central Daylight Time. Then we fell back. Now it's Central Standard Time. It's par partially cloudy. Part here. Partly cloudy. And Central Standard Time. Yeah. Par partly sunny. In the Southern Central Standard Time. With a uh, chance of precipi pre precipitation. You might be able to see a map behind us of the area. You have your click. Oh, we, we we didn't bring the clicker. Well, I mean, we have the green screen set up, but it's showing a, a black curtain behind us. If we had the clicker, it's well, no. We, if, we, if crew member was doing to, his job. Yeah. We, we'd be able to see what was happening see. in map our region, map your of the region. Weather. And here's what has what is happening in your neck of the woods. Who says? Does Al Roker say that? No, now they're playing a clip of what's happening in their neck of the woods, for sure. I know, but they talk to each other while that's going on. I think that's like a thirty second, right. thirty second clip. Yeah, our audience can't hear what we're saying right now because mm. there's a clip of what's happening in their neck of the woods. I tell you today. I was walking to Taco. I stepped in a big pile of dog crap uh, right before I was on my way to the studio. It took me, I think, like 10 minutes to get it all off. It was a, so big, I stepped in it. You know how it wraps around your shoe on both sides? Yeah. God, that's horrible. I think there's still a little bit left. The problem with this bit is that that is something that you would say even if the audience was watching. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> true. But that just lets the audience know I am who I am on and off camera, which is either sad or uh, real. Keep it real. Crew member has just gotten three, time, three times as heavy 
as crew member was yes a moment ago crew member just gained a lot of weight about time crew member gained a lot of weight yep. about dog on time so as i said welcome to t-bog uh your only place for uh current uh political and uh global uh objective monstrosity uh, n- news journalism s- stories yep uh we are fair and imbalanced and uh thank you for joining us so fair and imbalanced imbalanced <laughs> fair and imbalanced that's our slogan fair, fair and balanced or very imbalanced very imbalanced we're we're very fair and imbalanced and uh to my right your left is mr joey livingston assistant host Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here today. I'm glad you can make it. Oh. And I am always Matt Rhodes. Main host. And this is T-Bog. I think, Matthew, that it's come time, long overdue, that our audience be reminded by you mm-hmm. what our show is about. Our show is about uh, quality. It Quality. Quality. It's about uh, setting the bar for all other shows. Bar, uh, bar setting. We're bar setting. Sitting at the bar. <clears throat> Uh, we we're trend setters for other shows. Trendy, very trendy. Uh, we hence uh, the, uh, the 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 hat. Check out my newsy cap. People don't like them anymore nowadays, but I'm keeping it. So when it's gone, and uh, I don't have to say I'm bringing it back because I'll already be wearing it. And. We are all about uh, just telling the truth, having everything nice and lit up. Look at our picture, flawless. Uh, If we could just get the other shows on our network to uh, be more like us, uh, we would have an awesome network. See, we get, what, uh, between 1.5 and 2 million viewers each Second, each yeah, each second it grows on our show. Every second, it's a different 1.5 million uh, people. Right, and that's global. That's not just the uh, United States. Yeah. We are uh, we're trying 1. to raise five million goal. people per second can watch can't stand watching our show for more than a second. Right. right. So so we have to have new people. Right. That's why we have to have new. That's people. how that's how we are so popular. One person tunes in, they're like, uh, they tune out. Another person, person tunes in. 1.5 uh, million. They tune time. out and they just do, 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 do. It, it, it literally brings Ustream to its knees when we're broadcasting. We have a huge turnover rate in China. Huge. Ta- Thank you, China. Toll Novel rate. Huh? Toll, toll Novel rate. Telenovela? What? You got to switch the R's and the L's. Oh, with Ch- Chinese. Yeah, because a lot of times when, when they, the, w- w- with the language changeover mm-hmm. from Chinese to English, they will switch the L's and the R's. Like instead of fully cooly, it'd be furi curry or curry. Right. I think that's where the word curry came from, uh, the, the Chinese dish curry. <laughs> I actually call it Kuli, but it but they they say it with ours that yeah. curry curry. Thank you, China, for your wonderful curry. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, India, for your wonderful dumplings. How was your week, Joey?
<laughs> Went down the wrong pipe. Sorry, guys. My week was palatable. Like a paint palette? Uh, no, like a appetizer palette. Mm, I love appetizers. It was... Um, instigative. Mm, who'd you instigate? It was curio cabinet. Ooh, curio cabinets are back in style. I gotta get one for my apartment. That's but my week, buddy. I'll have to. Uh, That's ask my week in a pecan ask shell. Landlord. Nice. It sounds like a great, great week. How about yours? <laughs> my week was uh, fantabulic. It was uh, extraordinary. Fantabulic. Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Uh, I did a lot of time running and jogging. Jogging. And uh, what's running? Running. I'm familiar with jogging. What's running? Running is when you just like full on pent. You're just going, going, going. You're at a full on like pent. penting as fast as you can. Right. And then. To me, that's running. Uh, other people, Getcha. other people running is jogging. To me, running is full on. I pent. can't stand joggers. Me neither. Uh, sometimes I like to clip them with. I mean, my, either you're gonna pint or you're gonna welk. In yeah. my in in my opinion. Yeah, I I, I smackly agree with that. And yeah. uh, when are the slither? No uh, in between. Snow and snows. No one snows. Yeah, it's Buckley. Buckley chicken, gonna cook you some fried chicken. Come on down to Buckley's, he'll feed you right today. When I come out with my restaurant in the year, mm, probably 20. Buckley chicken. 40. Buckley chicken. Chicken. Buckley chicken. Buckley chicken. Chicken. Chicken fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna have uh, no Buckley chicken, hemorrhage, hemorrhage fried chicken. Bu- Buckley chick, chicken, hemorrhage fi- fried chicken. Hemorrhage, hemorrhage fried chicken. Right, and once you put that chicken juice over it, mm, mm. can't beat it. Them smash, <laughs> them smash tomatoes with uh, uh, chicken juice on it. Mm, can't beat it. And the daki sauce. Ooh, yeah. don't get me started on the Daki sauce. Careful with the vowels. <laughs> Watch them vowels, folks. They'll get you. And that that was my week. That was weak, man. That was a that week. Was so weak. That was a week. It was a great week. So uh, have you gotten us any sponsors uh, since you uh, debacled the... Polar Pop sponsors so badly? No, I'm I'm still working on it. Uh, potentials? Mm, nope, not even pot- not even any potentials. I've any people that you've thought about? Yes, but uh, I I mean I've called several people, but and what I do to start out my pitch to them is pitch them a jingle that a I jingle could, that I could sing to them on hair and uh, on. You want to sing? You want to sing them a jingle on hair? Yes. Oh, excuse me. On air. On air. Uh, Freudian slip. So you want to you want to sing them a jingle? Right. On but air. they didn't like any of them. Uh, so so next. See, I've called uh, KFC. I've called. Kafka. Who? Kafka. Oh yeah, Kafka. Called those. Colonel Sanders was not pleased. Was he available? He was. There's always a new Colonel Sanders. Even though the original one uh, kicked the bucket, uh, they, they always dress. Oh, like, like Donald Trump. Right. And uh, I've called uh, Renaissance. I've called. Renaissance? Renaissance? Uh, Renaissance R? Renaissance R. It's, it's like a Renaissance place that uh, instead of renting you electronics, they rent you like. Pirates. No, they rent you like stuff like wood and wood. nails 
and uh, steel and bronze. Roofing supplies. Yes. I forgot to mention roofing supplies. Roofing, also, roofing supply, rental, and equipment purchase. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just had a brilliant idea. Yes. I'm going to rewrite their jingle. And then I've called... Uh, I've called Carl's Jr. on the West Coast, and I've called Hardee's here on the East Coast. And neither of those have uh, want to be our sponsor. Will they give us any biscuits? Uh, only if we buy them. <coughs> well, that's that's if, a step. If, if they become our sp- sponsor. That's a step in the right direction. Maybe we should buy as many biscuits from them as we can, and then they'll become a sponsor. That's. I think that's bribery. Or the uh, opposite of being a sponsor. Us paying them for them to. What's sponsor really us. funny on this show is when you explain the jokes to me. <laughs> I love to do that. <laughs> and then I called. Uh, I called one more place, uh, Chucky Fleas, and they. Chunky Fleas. No. Chucky Fleas. Chucky Fleas. Chunky Fleas is, uh, I think it's some sort of disease, uh, dogs. Again. Yeah, it's a, there's a chronic uh, flea obesity um, in our country. Yeah. We need, we, we need to get... Uh, the fleas have no self-discipline. I wish I wish it had that number. We could scroll across the bottom. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a, a prevention line for fleas. It gets them... Gets them on a fleas, health, fleas a, a healthy diet. Fleas can call and then... You can call and donate money for the flea prevention, right. so they can call and get them on a healthy diet. Right, chunky fleas. Uh, I'm on air. Jeez, my knees. These that. people. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. You're gonna tell me not to answer it after I've already hung up on them. All right, so. We're gonna Soho, do a few, we're gonna that's do a, a we're popular do a few impressions in for you. New York. It, it's it's time for a few impressions. All right. Do you want to go first? Yes. All right. What are you going to do an impression of? This is Robert De Niro. You talking to me? No. You you talking to me? Are you talking to me? What's yours? Is that the end of it? Yeah. I think, I think Do you like it? How, how long have you been working on that? Uh, I've been I've been doing that impression since I was about 10. Gotcha. That's pretty good. What are you, looking at me? No, I, I know you ain't looking at me. What's yours? I thought we were going back and forth here. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah. All right, this is my impression of Inception the movie. Right. <coughs> oh, you missed one. I liked it. All right. Uh here's my impression of Here's my impression of Bob Graves when we connect to him on Skype right before the show starts. Uh, wait, should I play a part in this conversation? Yeah, you play Joey. Should I play Joey or, or Bob Graves? You play Bob Graves. I mean, I know you're going to play Bob Graves, but should I be Bob Graves or Joey? We could both be Bob Graves. All right, let's both be Bob Graves. All right. So th- this is Bob you, you you d- you do the Skype noise, and then I'll do a Bob Graves, and then I'll be Bob Graves as executive producer. Right. All right. Boop 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 boop. Greetings. <laughs> well, hello, Bob. How are, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just great. How's everything going down there? Well, it is delightful, I must say. Well, that's great. Uh, so, uh, 
Yeah, have 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 we gotten uh, Greg on the phone yet? Uh, funny thing about Greg, he doesn't believe in God. <laughs> oh, well, we shouldn't say he's God. You know what? Because we all know uh, the reconciliation of the emancipation of the proclamation is going to do it all for him. <laughs> Bob, you do say a lot of big words. I try to be funny, and I am. But uh, what uh, do you know what Greg's going to talk about today? Well, my viewpoint of what he's going to say is that he's going to talk about Science. <laughs> oh, it's so funny, Bob. Oh, uh, sorry. It was something my uh, cat did over there in the corner. Completely unrelated to what we were talking about. I'm sorry. It just happened. <laughs> That's okay, Bob. End scene. Boom, 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 boom. Dead on Bob Gray's. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> We love you, Bob Gray. All right. Uh, now that was mine. I want you. Can I request a uh, an impression for, from you? You can not deny it, or yes, I can. Okay. I I re reserve the right to deny. Uh, Greg Bray. Can Greg you, Bray. Can you do a Greg Bray? <laughs> hmm. What's funny is that. Is that now that I think about it, Greg Bray and Bob Graves sound very similar. They do. It's like, you know, greetings. My name is Greg Bray and I'm an atheist. <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg Bray and I'm an atheist. <laughs> many, of you, many of you may not realize that biology is the key to understanding all space, time, the universe, and everything in between. And uh, I'm an atheist. And, uh, I'll tell you one thing about science. It told us who was going to be elected throughout the whole country except North Dakota. And you got you, you got to give that up to science. Oh, you believe in God? Well, uh, science! Booyah! Ooh, science in your face. It's going to prove it wrong every and time. And I'm an atheist. Hi, I'm Bob Graves, and I'm an atheist. And sing. Yeah, I think we did, we did, nice. we did good. We that was love, that was uh, Matt's impression of uh, Greg Graves. Oh yeah, we love you, uh, but uh, Bob, uh, <laughs> we love you, Greg Bray. Uh, crew, what's crew member doing? So, do you want to do any more impressions, or are you make funny faces? This is what I do when I'm trying to stretch the muscles in my mouth. Can you do actor exercises? Speaker exercises? Um, Peter picked pickled peppers down by the seashore. That one is not nearly as difficult as Toy Boat. Five times fast. Do toy boat. One, two, three. Well, hold on. One, two. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. No, you do it. Toy boy. Toy boy. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. A, a serious attempt. That was a serious attempt. <laughs> Try a toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. No, here, here's my serious, serious, serious. Toy boat, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. Tablet. <laughs> Toe boy, toe boy, toboggan. All right, here, I'm going to try to get, I'm going to get it. Toy boat, toy boy, toy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you do it again, maybe I can learn something. It, it, yeah, I mean, it is. Do it. Chevy Chase used to do this. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And uh, he's one of my, he'd nail it. He's one of my heroes. Yeah. But this is a serious exercise. This is how you look like you, you get your mouth to articulate things. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Toy boy, toy. <laughs> <laughs> toy boy, 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 toy boy,
toy boat, toy boat, boy. All right, I'm going to try it slow at first. Yeah, <laughs> I think mean, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boy, boat, <laughs> toy boat. <laughs> toy boy, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy, toy boat, toy <laughs> <laughs> He's, he, you're gonna for the you're toy the, boat, toy boat, toy boat, boy, toy right. boy, toy boy, toy toy tow boat, tow boat, tow boat, tow boat. I could do tow boat. That's a nice shortcut. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Nice. Toy boat, toy boy, toy boy, toy boy. <laughs> Okay, sh- should we move on? Uh, any, do, do you have any more exercises? Uh, I used to know another hard one, but I can't remember what it was. The, all the tongue twisters are easy compared to that one. I know, I know a hard one. Right. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T V W X Y Z. Now I'm singing my A B C. Won't you please sing with me? Can you do it? Yeah. Do it. Come on. Let me see. Prove it. I can do that. Just take my word for it. I want to hear it. I can say toy boat five times fast. I know, but I want to hear you sing the ABC song fast. I'm not going to do that. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I've sang my ABCs. Now I want you to sing Let's have a race. Toy boat. No, an ABC race. Let's see who can say it the fastest. All right. right. On your mark. Now I have a disadvantage because I'm the one saying on your mark, I say go. But on go, I won't even say go. We'll just start, okay? On your A, mark. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I said my You're ABC. You're afraid that I'll beat you. Now I want you to sing with me. What? You asked for a race and you got a race. I'm not racing anymore. I'm <laughs> not racing. Five, four. I'm not going to race. Three, two. I'm not one. racing. One. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boy, I'm not toy, racing. Boy, toy boy, you already, you toy lost. boat, toy boat. You lost anyway. I won on the ABC race. Though. I won by default. Because no. you cheated the first time and you messed up the second time. Are you afraid to race me again? Afraid you get, afraid you get beat again? Are you going to take a head start this time? No, no. Okay. No, no head starts. There's, that's not All allowed. Right. So I'll go on your mark, get set, and then we'll, and then we'll do it. I won't even say go. Okay. All right. On your mark, get set. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now same A B C D E F G all right. Uh, I'm fatu- infatuated by these, uh, infatuated and fascinated. What's going on with your glowing chest here? Ooh, glad you asked. I thought I was bu- buying these beads called uh, canal beads, but when I took the sticker off it said something else and you're gross it was real nasty uh and i'm not into to that but they do light up and look nice so i just put them around that's my neck. gross no let me tell you the truth about these uh that was just a dirty joke i'm that sorry was, that was uh, that but was uncalled for matthew let me tell you the truth behind these beads and I, there's a place in our uh, hearts city and, and, oh. and in our hearts and minds. There's a business in our city called the Psychedelic Shack. They sell uh, tobacco pipes and like uh, tat- they do tattoos and piercings and sell incense and stuff like that. It's one of those. They're shops. not a sponsor. You can move on. It's a head shop. Okay. But they did a, such a good job in planting these led lights under my skin just a little bit under my skin and then that's it's not like a necklace or anything they're each under my skin 
then they put a button behind my neck and I can change the <coughs> change the mode so I can turn them off I can make them blink and I can make them blink slowly what if they can and I can make them stay screen. on no I'm saying I, it might not even be bright enough for them to see it mm-hmm. but in any case um, hold on I'm not gonna lift what you're telling me earlier is that uh, the batteries last three days and they're non-replaceable. Uh, right. So once they're out, they you just you just have bumps under your skin. They're, now you can see them. Ah. Yeah, but in three days' time. In in three days' time, I won't have any more lights. They'll just be bumps. Just weird bumps on your skin. Right. We've already started calling you Weird Bump Matt. And, but I like, well, while they have light, uh, I like them. And I'll, I'll just continue wearing them. Now when I put lotion on your chest, it feels weird. Yeah, it does. It's kind of like uh, going over speed bumps. Right. It's like a little speed bump. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'm going to do it anymore. Eh, please. What, what if I get them taken out? We'll, we'll, t- we'll see. Okay, thank you. And then, and then you could put the, uh, when I get them taken out, you could put... Uh, the uh, the scar reducer lotion on each place they were. I'll do that for you. Thank you. Because yeah. you're my bro. Boom. And that's what bros do for each other. That's what bros do. Rub each other down with lotion. And we don't have to drink no potion. That's what daddy told us. Rub each other down with lotion. My dad, Michael, Dr. Michael W. Jones, <laughs> taught me how to rub, give a good rub down <laughs> with lotion. To all my brothers. <laughs> That's where I learned how to do that. That's where you learned how to do it from. That's where I learned how to do it from. That's where all kids learned how to do it from, from their dads, from good dads. Right. Yeah. yeah. But out of all the dads, my dad, Dr. Michael W. Jones, <laughs> is the best at it. My dad can beat your dad at rubbing lotion on people any day of the week. <laughs> it's probably true. What's so funny about that? What's so stinking funny? You're ruining the show. What do we have here? We have a camera. Is this junk even turn? I like to do this just to get that uh, effect. Where does that effect at? Boop. Where is it at? It doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> there it is. He, he, he never switched to, to that shot until now. Uh, he's trying to make me look crazy. I look like I have sunglasses on here. Yeah, you do. You look like, uh, let's see. Hold on. Put it back to that shot, please. You look like the lead singer of Weezer, kind of. Kind of. Because of the glasses. Yeah. Look at that iPad. Joey Cam. Joey Cam. This would be like if you were Joey. Put it in my, yeah. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like to be me. Dun, 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 dun. Don't ruin oh, the glasses. Let me see. see, see. All right, I was trying to put it in between my camera and my hand. There you go. Now, if you were Joey, this is what you'd see. That's exactly. That's exactly what it feels like. Then, if you had z- zooming eye lenses like Joey, you would be able to zoom in and out. Look at that microphone. That's a high tech microphone. That is a high tech microphone. Look at our big monitor, ain't? Ain't we cool? We got a huge monitor. Most most shows with monitors, they're super duper small. Our monitor is big. That, that, that's how you, that's how you know our network is good. Yes, it is. That's how you know our network is good. And why is our network good? Because we set the standard. 
huge. That's a huge. That's a huge. TV. That's a huge TV. That's a big old TV there. Hey man, down over here at Chim Chim Studios, we got one of them little monitors. What I heard down there at NCG Studios, we got yeah. one of them <laughs> big monitors. And that's what I love about our monitors. And uh, they're trying to get me uh, more tan, so they got a heat lamp, which you can't even, well, yeah, you can probably see it. I just want to point that out. They're trying to get some, me more tan, so they are, they got a heat lamp on me at all times. It's not working. It's not working at all. It's making my nose red. Right. <laughs> I think it's focused right in on my nose. <laughs> what you playing with on your iPad, buddy? I don't know. I just brought it up here in case I needed it. I was thinking about drawing a picture of you, but uh Ooh, that that sounds like a good idea. Well, there's no time to do it now, Matthew. What time is it? It's five minutes left in the show. No way. Yes, there is. It's true. You know it's a good show when Sad but true. You know it's a good show when it goes by that quick. Or at least for us. That's right. We, we we had a great time. Dude, I could draw something in five minutes. Did, do you have that uh, app paper? Yeah. By 54? Mm-hmm. Can I do that? Let me draw it on paper. Let's see here. I've been playing that game, uh, The Sims Free Play, on the iPad. It's pretty cool because you don't got to spend a lot of time with it. Because uh, you could tell somebody to go to sleep, and uh, it takes like seven hours, you want real it? life hours. Do you want a, a finger or a stylus to draw with? Stylus. I've never tried. You sure, you don't want a finger. Nah, I don't want the finger. Yeah, I think you should try a finger. Let me try the finger. Try a finger, and then you can. If you don't like the finger, you can try a stylus. Okay. Okay. Here we go. All right, we'll go like this. Doesn't the finger doesn't the finger feel natural? Yeah, it sure does. And then see these devices were designed to be used with with a finger. Boom, boom, boom. The the stylus was an afterthought. Do y'all have this stylus up on the TV so everybody can see my wonderful artwork? And then. How do I get that off the bo- the the bottom? I touch it. Nope. Hold on. I need two fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now I just need one finger. <laughs> All right, and then shoot. Beep. Some hair. Ugh. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hold on. Need two fingers one more time. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now. Uh, yeah, the finger does feel more natural. Uh, can y'all see this? At least got it up on screen. Look at that. <coughs> that is super good. Ooh, y- you have all the uh, essentials, too. My problem is that I can't use the finger because I am right-handed. Uh, uh, and I would have to hold it with my left hand. Ah, I see. A little watercolor. A little... Let, let's, let's paint some happy trees. Go up. Then you get a little. It's fall, so we'll use a little. You need a thicker line. They darker see that colors. Line. Need a thicker line. And we'll go like that. And draw some happy little trees. 
Then we will draw some clouds. Nice background. Shout out to Bob Ross who passed away years ago. He taught me everything I know about painting. Um, I'm looking for <coughs> the, uh, see, I see you're missing one. No, I'm not. I bought everything that they have to offer. Well, where is the uh, outliner? You don't have the outliner. Oh, I might not have. You might be right. All right. You, you can't then I'll it. sign this for you. Oh, thank you. No, that looks crazy. Mm, 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 mm. Man. Matt Plim, because uh, the original person who taught me that was named Matt Plim. So he says Bob Ross. Well, Bob Ross is his TV name. Please sign the correct name. There we go. Thank you. Sorry, Bob, that I used your real name instead of your TV name. Sorry. But it does make sense since he signs all his paintings. We could have gotten in Bob trouble Ross. if you had signed this. Matt Plum. Matt Plum, yeah. Big trouble. Thank, good catch. Well, we are out of time. Uh, may I add, uh, if you have any uh, show ideas that we can shoot down right away, Please, uh, you can email them uh, to info at newcovenantgroup.com. Uh, show ideas to Facebook, uh, Kine Diathake, Facebook, Joey Livingston, Facebook, Scrap Iron. We'll look at them once and then delete them. But please, we'd love to see them and make fun of them and then delete them we so do what we do love that we are going to go out as a um a gnarly two-headed monster uh so uh let's uh let's get that going please gnarly two-headed monster mm. let's have mm. a mid mm. crossfade mm. please transition there we go, there we go. let's see here Right there, right there. <laughs> Only one hand. <laughs> we got three hands. There. <laughs> I want your feet. 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 The show's over. Bye. Feet. Goodbye. Have a good day, Bye -bye. everybody. Send us your show idea so we can uh, delete them right away and laugh at them. Uh, 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 uh.